It's Dave from thinkoutsidetheslide.com. Today I want to show you how you can use your iPad, updated to iPad OS 17 as a second screen for a Windows laptop without needing any apps. There's a new feature in iPad OS 17 that allows Windows laptop users to be able to connect it as a second screen and improve their productivity when traveling. Let me show you how. The first step is to get an HDMI connection out of your laptop. Some older or larger laptops might already have an HDMI port, but most newer or smaller laptops don't. This is my older laptop. It has a mini display port on the side here. So I'm going to use a mini display port to HDMI adapter. If you have a newer laptop that has a USB-C connection, then what you can use is you can use this sort of an adapter from Ugreen which has a USB-C port and it has an HDMI port. So it gives the USB-C laptop an HDMI connector. If you have a desktop that doesn't have any more output ports available to you, then you can use a USB-A to HDMI display link adapter. I'll put links to all of these adapters in the description down below. Now that you have an HDMI port, the next thing you need to do is to connect an HDMI cable to it. Now I'm using a really thin HDMI cable. This is great for traveling. I'll link to that in the description below. So we're going to go ahead and connect my mini display port adapter to my laptop here. Then I'm going to connect the HDMI cable to the port from that adapter. Now I have an HDMI coming out of my Windows laptop. And Windows is going to recognize when I connect this to the proper device, it's going to automatically recognize it as a second screen. This gets around having to have an app on your Windows laptop in order to get that second screen. Now how am I going to get that second screen on the iPad? Well, here's what we're going to do. So we're going to take this HDMI cable and we're going to put it into a video capture device. These are devices typically used by gamers, but I've used them a lot in some of my previous videos to allow second screens. And what it does is it takes that HDMI cable from your Windows laptop. I'm going to insert that. That's the input. And now through this USB port, it's going to provide to another device, in this case our iPad, what looks like a webcam. And here is the new feature that iPad OS 17 has that allows us to do this because for the first time, iPads will recognize an external webcam. So the iPad thinks this is going to be a webcam, but in fact, it's a second screen from our Windows device. How do we connect it to our iPad? Well, the only iPads that support this feature are the ones that have a USB-C connection. These are the newer iPads. You can find a full list on Apple's website or the full article I have on this technique. So I'm going to take a USB-C adapter Yes, this is the same one I just talked about for a Windows laptop. It's a very versatile adapter. It's from Ugreen. So I'm going to plug the USB-C cable into my iPad. Now, the nice thing about this adapter is that it has a USB-C port here so that I can power the iPad at the same time. This is important because running it as a display drains the battery if you're only running on the battery. So I'm going to plug my power into here and then I'll have the USB-A port that I need to plug this video capture device into. So I'll go ahead and disconnect the power from the iPad and plug it into my USB-C adapter and then connect that to my iPad. And checking that the power says yes it is connected. Now I can connect my HDMI video capture device it's taking my screen from my Windows laptop and connect it to my iPad. And now my Windows laptop thinks it has a second screen. And when I go in to look at my settings here in Windows, you'll notice it says I have two screens. This second screen, I can move it to whatever side I have my iPad on. In this case, it's on the left, so that's why I have it there. So I'm now knowing that I have a second screen. Windows thinks it has a second screen. Again, no apps installed on my Windows computer, which for corporate users where your laptop is locked down, 
This is critically important. So we'll go ahead and close these settings here. Now the question is, how can I see this screen on my iPad? Well, you have to use some sort of app that displays the webcam. In this case, you could use uh, maybe FaceTime or something else that uses a webcam, but then you have a lot of user interface that's kind of covering up some of what you really want to see. There are going to be apps released that will allow you to show a, uh, an iPad external webcam on the screen, or the simplest way is I've actually developed a web page on my website at thinkoutsidetheslide.com slash webcam dash 1920, which allows you to display a webcam on your iPad with very minimal user interface. I've set it up as a link here on my iPad, so it just opens in a browser. Whether you use Safari or Edge, it opens in a browser. And then what's gonna happen is, is that it allows you to select the camera and then show the camera. Now, when you drop this list down, it only shows one camera. Well, that's because the iPad hasn't been given permission by the user, that's you, to allow access to the other webcams. So I'm just gonna select camera one here first, and I'm gonna tap on show camera. Now it says, hey, are you gonna allow this website to access the camera? Yes, allow. And now it starts showing me the default camera, which is the back camera. But now when I drop down the list, you'll notice I now have all the cameras listed, including this one here, the USB video camera. That's what it calls this video capture device. So I'm gonna tap on that and say show camera. And now what you'll notice is I have my second window screen here. And because this is an iPad, I can just simply pinch to zoom and make this larger, move it up on the display, and now I have my screen. To prove this, I'm gonna grab my PowerPoint window here, and I'm gonna drag it across, and you're going to see that it's now on my second screen. And I can move it around on the second screen. I can do whatever I want on the second screen because Windows believes that that is the second screen, but it's running on the iPad. And again, no apps have been installed on either of these devices. I have that website. You can go to the full article that's linked in the description below this video. And I actually allow you to download this HTML file if you want to keep it local on your iPad. That means you don't need an internet connection to use this. And that can be really valuable, especially when you're traveling. So this is how we can have our iPad acting as a second screen to our Windows laptop without using any apps, simply by using a couple of the devices that often you're going to be carrying anyways. The only things that you might not already have with you are the video capture device. But it's really very inexpensive to buy and it gives you so much flexibility when you're traveling. So that's how we can use a iPad, updated to iPad OS 17, as a second screen from our Windows laptop. Again, go to the links in the description below for all of these devices as well as a link to the full article that has all the details of how this particular procedure is done. If you found this video helpful, here are some other videos I think you'll also find helpful. Thanks for watching.